Hello and welcome to this video. Um don't usually do these kind of videos. I think I did a couple back last year. But um I thought I'd do this one because it's a really interesting story. Now this is the news that Nabil Fakir Nabil Fakir, sorry, um will not be joining Liverpool. Apparently well, this is the statement released by Leon. Um it was released just after seven o'clock UK time I think um, anyway the statement translated to that Leon informs that the tri-party negotiations with Liverpool and Nabil Fakir for the transfer of the captain have not succeeded and that the Olympic and that Leon have decided to put an end to this negotiation tonight at eight o'clock French time although the club Liverpool has been the yeah, and although and although blah, 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 although Liverpool has been a priority of a possible transfer of Fekir and subject to other proposals so basically what they're saying there is that although Liverpool has been the priority club who's been trying to negotiate a deal for Fekir um, there's also been other clubs um, interested in him um, but essentially what they're saying is, is that they actually decided that they're not going to sell him this this year because it says that they're delighted to be able to count on his presence as captain who is leading rookie for this well that's a weird way of wording it a leading rookie for this season 2018-2019 which the club will play the Champions League being in the third half of the world. so basically they're saying is that they're not even interested in setting into any club from what I'm gathering from that um wow uh which is weird because it looked like it was done didn't it sorry just gonna take a drink oh that's lovely um it looked done which okay up until today which is the 9th of june it looked done there was a report earlier on in the day um and it was widely reported it was reported many sources but not like an official thing um saying that liverpool had done his medical but but had um they had seen something in the med medical which had worried them um I think it's mainly to do with the fact that he's got a really dodgy knee, which is to put it kindly. He had, I think, he had an ACL a season or two ago, um, and there's obviously some signs that his knee's not right because they've gone back to Leon and tried to lower the transfer price, which is obviously pissed them off because they now just said, you know what, we're not even going to sell him, um, which I I can't see it not happening. Like I can't see him not leaving, but. At this rate, it doesn't definitely doesn't look like Liverpool because they've really pissed them off. This is the thing because if if have other clubs are interested in in this player as well, then why would they why would they sell it to a club who's tried to go back on a transfer fee which they'd already agreed? This is what I don't get with Liverpool. They, I mean, it's funny as from my perspective as a um, as a rival fan of Liverpool. I mean, I don't support Liverpool. If you don't, you probably recognise. Um, I just don't get why they they screw up transfers so much now they th this is just go back a few seasons ago they mocked arsenal when arsenal bid 40 million pounds and 1p to trigger the release clause in louis suarez's contract now what made me laugh at that was that they laughed at they laughed at that but that that triggered that that was in his contract that that triggered the release clause liverpool broke his terms of his contract by not allowing Suarez to speak to Arsenal and they mocked us saying that we didn't do it right but whereas Liverpool for example here have they've they've agreed a price they've basically done all the interviews medicals done his photo shoot done his interview and all that and then have gone back and said actually can we pay you less money it's it's a bizarre it's a bizarre thing to do I, I don't understand why Liverpool are amazingly bad with certain transfers. Like the Fabinho on the other day, they got that done within seconds. But why? Why do they do this with so many players? It must be it must be so frustrating to be a Liverpool fan. So look at Fekir's stats. I mean, what year is this? Let's have a look. This is this year. So. I'm assuming this is this yeah, this is this year. This is well no wonder they're interested in. 
So he played. He's played forty-two games in all competitions. So that's League One, Europa League, the Coupe de France, uh, international friendlies, and the World Cup, which is coming up soon. Um, in forty-two games, he scored twenty-four goals. That's impressive for an attacking midfield. I know it's a. I know it's France, and the league isn't so great, but that is very impressive for a offensive midfielder to score almost one in every two games. Um, his assists are a bit low. It's pretty rough. Works out around about one in every four games. But that, um, yeah, that those scoring rates are fantastic for a attacking midfielder. Um, what else is he? So he plays as an attacking midfielder, uh, mid, like a centre midfield. He's played as a striker, apparently. Only once. But he's also played as a uh, right wing. But yeah, he's played once as a striker. I, I didn't ever even expect him to play as a striker. And he scored a... No, he, sorry, he got an assist. He's definitely best from mid attacking midfield from up here. 19 goals and 7 assists. That's impressive. Um, let's have a look here. That is... In, that, how have they messed this up? I don't know how they've done it. So only Liverpool, eh? Only they could do it. But um, I don't know what your guys' thoughts on it are. I there must have been something because I know there was like loads of reports going around earlier. It was Daily Mail, uh, Daily Mirror, I think, like all the sort of papers you don't expect to be true, and then suddenly it's completely collapsed. Unbelievable. Well, hopefully there'll be some Arsenal transfer news, and I might do a video on that if there is anything but doesn't seem to be any anyway thanks for listening and yeah i just found this really interesting how this how this could have possibly gone wrong for liverpool it's crazy but yeah thanks for listening and um yeah leave a comment or like the video or dislike it <laughs> saying your thoughts on it um yeah crazy i feel sorry for the fans because they're just being messed around by their by their um by the you know, people who deal with transfers, the fans, the fans are being fed information that the deal was pretty much done, and then the club just screws around and makes a deal fall through. Don't you can't blame Leon in this situation when you, you don't you don't give you don't give someone something they they buy something off you. You you agree a fee you you agree to meet someone to you know give them the item to pay like an eBay like a trade or something. And then you get to the location. They've basically got the item in their hands, about to give you the money for it, and they're like, "Actually, can I pay you half of what you we agreed on?" You just don't do it. If Liverpool, I I don't know. I I don't. I think Liverpool completely did wrong here, and I feel sorry for the fans, and I'm, I feel sorry for Fekir because he probably thought he got one of his dream moves, and it's been screwed around by the club. And he shouldn't be annoyed at Leon. He should be annoyed at Liverpool because they're the ones who have jeopardised his move. But anyway, yeah, leave a comment or like if you want to think about if you've got anything to say about this transfer. But it's crazy. Genuinely thought this was going to be this could happen before the World Cup, but apparently not. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, and hopefully some more transfer news soon. Bye bye.